Okay, water is coming out at 101.4 degrees Fahrenheit and that's 38.6 degrees Celsius. Hot! Okay, so I'm just going to climb up here, show you guys what I've made. So this is the solar pool heater. Got the copper coils in here um, with aluminum flashing sprayed in black plus the windows keep it kind of like a greenhouse just kind of baking the hot temperature in there you can really do it however you want um this is really just a piece of wood and then you know one by ones or whatever surrounding it then you can put the window on top right um i'm gonna make it a little bit more efficient make it a heater hotter inside and uh, as you can see i've placed the aluminum sh flash flashing sheets over it um then i'll put the copper coil and uh oh by the way the outlets for the copper coil right here basically downwards um and then once all that's done i'm going to spray it all black then we'll put the window uh frames on top weatherproof it and then it's up it's going to go onto the uh my roof there's 50 feet of it i'm not sure it looks like it's going to fit perfectly but uh basically now i'm just gonna untangle it and just make it fit perfectly and then the ends will go through the holes there making this coil with the copper is coming along um fitted an adapter here and then now it runs along and i'm using these copper anchors or these copper clamps and uh, putting them in place as you can see here actually looks pretty nice and uh yeah it's coming along um since i'm using a half i'm using a half inch uh, pipe it is a little bit hard to uh, wrap it around in a perfect circle but uh, I think it looks pretty good um, for what it is and it, obviously it should do the should do the job um, but yeah so I just have a little bit left and I may or may not be able to come out in this outlet that I've already made so I think just naturally since it's twirling this way it's gonna come out here Okay, so let me just finish this and then uh, we can move on to the next step. So this is pretty much going to be the final product in terms of laying out the uh, the copper. So basically I just, yeah, went from there, did a spiral, and then at the end, yeah, I was able to just wrap it back up. So I just need to make that hole a little bigger and uh, have that come out. Yeah, just make sure you have these guys. They were very helpful. Um, I know some people uh, use zip ties, uh, but I think this would be the best way because zip ties are, there's gonna be a lot of heat here. So um, you want everything to be metal. Okay, so I have <clears throat> the, uh, the input and the output, the fittings pretty much this thing's done and uh, now I'm just going to spray it black
since the wood's going to be exposed to the elements, um, I figure I'm going to spray a little bit of this. It's basically like a rubber seal. And uh, I'm going to spray it over the wood just to protect it a bit. So I'm just going to show you here in real time um, the temperature of the water that I'm getting. Water flows down. Uh, it gets it gets pumped out, and then it goes. So temperature coming out is currently 37.1 Celsius, and in Fahrenheit. That's 98.7. That's at a constant temperature. So yeah, works really well.